one I have here from Zara. I love this with a blazer and tights and then my, my knee-high boots. Gorgeous for nighttime and it just has this nice marbled pattern that it has more gray in it but again acts as a neutral to go with a lot of my clothing items that I did bring. This one you may recognize. I got this one in my thrift store haul from Goodwill. And I honestly was so excited to wear it. The only problem was that this glitter kind of sequin material made me so itchy. So I had to stop in the middle of Spain. I, I had to just stop and take it off and then just wear my cardigan and then belt it because I was so uncomfortable in it. Unfortunately, I think that's just my fault. I didn't have a proper slip to wear underneath it. But... Again, I, I love this piece, but it just made me so itchy after a while, so that was really uncomfortable. Again, being comfortable is just so important and, and uh, will really just help ease your, your vacation a little more. So it was cool where I was, so as far as tops went, I, I picked sweaters and ones that were three-quarter length, one that were full length. And um, what I have here is this H&M kind of off-the-shoulder sweater that I got from Goodwill. It's my Fifty Shades of Grey sweater. Then I have this one that I absolutely adore the color. It's just a gorgeous color for fall. And it has these subtle stripes in between. And uh, it's just very nice to wear with jeans. And then I wore this with my, my military-style boots. Striped kind of knit sweater was nice. Just in case the day those days were a little hotter but then I would cover it up with a black cardigan at night and wear leggings with it this is a very comfortable outfit and top to have if you for the more of those comfortable days blouses like this the kind of sheer ones were a great versatile piece to go from day to night as well for accessories I had two scarves I had this infinity scarf that is a great beige neutral that went with any outfit that you see here and I love this one because it's very thick and voluminous so it kept me warm and it was just easy to throw on with any outfit that I put together. I had this one that I just got from a local boutique and I actually wore this in the rain one day and it's all crinkly on me now. I love the polka dots on it. I wanted to talk about some outerwear that I wanted to suggest to you guys and a black blazer you just you gotta do it a black blazer will go with anything it dressed up outfits for nighttime I got this one from Nordstrom's BP in their sales section so it was about thirty dollars and it's very tailored to the body look very sophisticated and uh, I loved wearing this with, with jeans and then also dressing it up with my dresses at night or my skirt. So a classic black blazer you can't go wrong with. The thing I got from Nordstrom was when I saw this going shopping for Europe, I just, you know, my heart, it was love at first sight. I love the colors. It's just very almost bohemian. I love this for the daytime and uh, just it looked great with jeans, black leggings, and this was on sale at Nordstrom's for like 40 bucks. This I think had the most use out of it the whole trip. This is my J. Crew jacket and it's just a great neutral that again will go with anything. It's a longer jacket so it kept, kept me warm and I could wear leggings with it without my, my tush showing or anything like that. I still have a little bit of mustard on it from Oktoberfest. I highly recommend an umbrella that is not going to flip inside out on you. At the Louvre, I popped this open and it flipped inside out on me at the Louvre. So you want one that's not going to flip inside out on you and um, that's just really sturdy. This one was just a cheap touristy one but it rained, the weather was very temperamental in Paris so it would just rain randomly and then it would just be sunshine and gorgeous with rainbows so it was just kind of crazy like that. So the last bit I wanted to cover were on some accessories and I think uh, some toiletry necessities, especially for a girl, that kind of just helps with your traveling process. For me, I went with a boy, so I wanted to make sure I'd get ready in a quick amount of time. And of course, guys take a less amount of time to get ready than girls do. So, um, and I always wanted to go out and see the sights and not take too much time on getting ready. So some of the things that I brought to kind of help me with that are the a dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is going to help you just kind of if your hair is getting a little 
little greasy or you're trying to hide the dirt and touch up really quick, I would bring a dry shampoo. And one of my favorites is a very inexpensive and travel size version of the Psst, uh, on the go dry shampoo. And what you do is just put this in the roots and kind of just massage it into the hair so that it gets rid of, rid of any of the oil. It also adds volume to the hair. So that was just like a quick fix for me, uh, especially on those days where I just didn't have time to wash my hair and only just rinse my body. So love this stuff for those kind of quick fix situations. Also for those days where I just didn't want to straighten my hair or curl my hair, take the time to do it, I would just kind of harness my hair down with this headband and I love this one I got it from Nordstrom and uh, it's it's kind of just voluminous in the front and then it's secure in the back but I would just do this with a low braid and then um, just kind of do my makeup really quick so that was always nice to have a headband kind of hides the hair from looking you know if you don't straighten it or curl it that's just a nice quick fix as well so for makeup I wanted to keep it really minimal but look put together at the same time so I have been fantasizing about doing this look for such a long time and I finally fulfilled it can check it off the bucket list it's so wearing a red lip in Europe and I brought along uh, a soft matte lip cream by NYX uh, NYX and it's in Monte Carlo. I wanted a matte that would stay put all day, one that I could rely on, a nice deep rich red and I absolutely love this for that sake. And then also for makeup I, I wanted to keep, if I wanted to just kind of look glamorous but not take the time to really do a whole smoky eye, I would just pop on some lashes. Just take three minutes to do my lashes, do concealer and be out the door so that I can go on with my day, go see the sights and not um, be spending too much time in the mirrors. My Naked 2 palette had all the colors that I needed and it's just really travel friendly because of the sturdy packaging so can't really go wrong with that and it's just easy. I actually put it on my, my uh, carry-on bag just so it was close to me and I absolutely just love having this palette. It's my favorite. A lot of you guys ask me if I prefer the second one or the first one. I have to say I prefer the second one over it. And the package packaging, you can just really trust it with travels. So I actually just wanted to show you guys really quickly the toiletry thing that I bought for my trip. And it is such a cute um, travel toiletry bag. And it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. And it's called Soho. So it's kind of this like fake... Uh, snakeskin print and it has all these great compartments and it has a brush holder here so I brought the brush brushels, brushes that were essential to me for my trip and then had a big area here and here for my makeup and for my shampoo toiletries and all that good stuff. And for jewelry I just brought a statement watch my gold Michael Kors that I wore every day it's always good to know what time it is especially in a different country different time zone you'd always want to be uh, aware of the time and uh, so this I loved and went with all my outfits. Also, um, just some statement necklaces. These are both from Forever 21. This one I wore actually the most. I love it. It's kind of this dark green uh, fake faux leather on the inside panels here and just gold. So looked really nice with my blouses. It looked great with any neutral and uh, was just really pretty for day and nighttime. This one, it was just a bunch of silver. Really fun way to glam up your outfit nice and sparkly. I highly recommend bringing a baggie full of medicine. If you are one that is prone to getting sick, especially headaches like me, getting a stomach ache, gas, you ate too much cheese, then I would bring a bag of all your essential medicines just to be in case you want to be prepared for any situation, especially if you're in a foreign place. You want to make sure you have access to all that stuff to make you feel better, more at ease. So I highly just recommend bringing all of the medicine that you would need. And so I hope you guys found this helpful. I made a complete mess in this room. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, and I plan on showing more footage or pictures of the trip if you guys would like and I would love to talk about more stories on it. It was the most amazing trip. I feel so lucky I got to go and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!